Hey, fourth quarter Foundations of Technology students and uh, Foundations of Literacy Strategy students if you're at Valley View. Uh, my name is Mr. Cowan and I'm going to be showing you how this class is going to work for this quarter. Um, we're going to run everything through Canvas and the assignments that you do are going to be done at your own pace. There's just going to be a group of assignments to do each week. And in a second here, I'm going to show you how to get to those assignments, how to figure out what they are, how to figure out how to complete them, and then how to know if you're done with them. So let's jump into it. All right, so in order to access this class, the first place you're going to want to go is Hello ID. If you're not familiar with using Hello ID, it's a portal that you just go to one website, and then once you log into it using your school credentials, everything will pop up and be open for pretty much everything you're going to need for almost all your classes moving forward um, because it has all your applications as a single sign-on, which just means one click and you're there. So to start doing that, you're going to go to snow.helloid dot com. Um, once you get there and it asks you to log in, you're going to enter your student email. Your student email is first dot last. So first name dot last name, just like you're logging into the computer at school at student SSD, like Snohomish School District. So student SSD dot org. And your password is the same password that you would have used to log into a computer with last time you were at school. Um, if you don't have access to your password, you can call the tech department at the district office and they can reset your password. And unfortunately, that's the only way to get your password reset. So try your password a few times. I'm um, just trying to think what that last password was that you used when you left school. Once you get in to Hello ID, I'll show you what that'll look like. So once you're in Hello ID, your Hello ID is going to look something like this. Mine is, has a few more apps available. But the thing that you're going to look for for this class just to get started is canvas and when you click canvas it's going to open up and it's probably going to go to your dashboard on your dashboard if you're at centennial middle school you're going to be looking for the class that says foundations of technology so foundations of technology for you will be right here it says term four foundations of technology if you're at valley view um, it's going to be foundations literacy strategies but either way, it's the same course. Once you get into it, what it's going to look like, and I'm just in Foundations of Technology, but Foundations of Literacy at Valley View is going to look exactly the same. You're going to land on the modules page. The modules are a collection of assignments that we're going to have you do each week. It's always best to go do these modules or these assignments within a module in order. And if for any reason you get to see the next week and there's a new module, if you have unfinished assignments in this week, it's always good to go finish up these assignments first before you go into the next thing because the learning in this class will build and the things that we do in the coming up weeks when there's new modules, they're going to rely on you understanding these things in these modules right here. The pattern for the assignments is pretty much the same for all of them. And right now I'm going to show you what that pattern looks like. So for each assignment, you click the actual text of the assignment to open it up. Remember to go in order and do things one at a time. So you click the actual text of the assignment. At the top of the assignment, there's directions that tell you what you need to do to complete this assignment. Every single assignment in this class needs to be turned in because you got to show evidence that you know the thing that I'm trying to teach in this lesson. That being said, you might already know how to do this thing. If you already know how to turn an assignment on Canvas, all you would need to do is read the directions of what it says to complete the assignment. And if you read the directions, and you're like, oh, I can do that. Okay, cool. Just do it. Just show me you know how to do it. You're good to go. If you're not sure how to do it on any assignment, there'll be a little video here where it's essentially me showing you how to do the assignment you need to do. And as we go through the course, you'll learn more about how to use these videos to learn. And we'll work on more complex things as we go. But within the modules for this week, so on the modules page in the beginning, all we're going to go do is learn just the basics of the class. Remember that you don't have to do the video for any assignment you already know how to do. So if you know how to do what the assignment is asking right here, you read to complete the assignment and you read what the instructions are. If you know how to do that, just do it. But if you're not sure how to do it, you can then use this video and it'll show you how to do it. Feel free to reach out to your teacher, um, either myself at Centennial or Ms. Smith at Valley View through email if you have any questions. And we'll be checking in with you. Um, we'll be giving you feedback on your assignments, uh, letting you know how you did. And you'll figure out how to even do that as you're going through this week. Um, all right. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying healthy. 
Um, we're excited that you're in this class, even though it's going to look a little bit different than a regular class. Um, there's a lot to learn in this class. Um, you're going to become a wizard at using um, the applications and programs on your computer in a really productive way. All right, go ahead and get started.